this. It's got this classic Silent Hill-esque warning screen. Today we're going to be playing the demo for Tormented Souls. Since it's October, I decided this would be a perfect fit to start things off with playing some spooky games. And if it's too spooky, we can keep each other safe. A letter for me. I never receive letters. Let's see. I should check the front of the letter to see who the sender is. Whoops. From John Doe Wildburger Hospital, Winter Lake, Blackwood Island, Canada, to Caroline Walker, 578 Rain Street, Campbell River, Canada. Spooky. Do you think you can just simply abandon us here? Uh oh. Things are already off to a spooky start, it looks like. It's been two weeks since I was so going to a spooky hospital is something that I really, really love. But not something you should do. someone in this hospital that doesn't want us here. Okay, so we woke up in this spooky bathroom. Uh, respirators and oscilloscopes. What did they do to me? Okay, this is very cool. What have they done to me? Who could have done such a horrible thing to me? Why? You know, and I just recently got into um, the Silent Hill games. And so, this is good timing. Today is the happiest day of my life. After all, the suffering we have endured the past few years, Maria, my beloved wife, has blessed me with two beautiful angels. But there is more. After all this time, she has returned to me. She looked at me with her eyes wide as if she had not seen me in years, like she was waking up from a dream. That is not all. Something odd happened when I checked my watch to find the exact time at which the first baby, Emma, was born. As I opened the lid, the glass cracked and the hands utterly stopped. I do not think this event to have much, to have some meaning or other. I am not a superstitious man, but Maria insists that it is a sign. She has started using the hour as her lucky number and uses it for everything. Uh-oh. Um, hmm. So, it says I can interact with this. I'm assuming to turn the page, but that's not working. So we'll just leave it. We're just going to leave that book where we found it. But yeah, I've been feeling that they need to make new games that are like this. Oh, and here we've got um, a very Resident Evil storing system. I'd like to go back. 
back and play the older Resident Evil sometime. Do not let the shadows embrace you. What does that mean? She kind of reminds me of... I forget her name, but the one from... Oh, I see, so I need items to be able to open this stuff. Um, I bet I can reach in there now. Okay, here we go. So we can take this and old pocket watch. There's a latch on the crown. Oh, this is so good. What's this? Time stood still when my two angels fell from heaven. All right. Oh, yes. And I don't think we can take anything else. Maybe we can have to come back to that. The doorknob is missing. So I think, oh, I know what we do. I'm so good at these. So what time do we have? It's 12, 35, 12, 34, about, I think 12, 35. And that's what we're gonna put here. Combination padlock. Very interesting. I can use it. I got a wrench. An old rusty wrench. The jaw size is adjustable. I think we use that here. Tribe 
resided on the island for more than 500 years before being discovered by European settlers. Proof of this is an ancient underground cemetery found deep inside a cavern on the island's shore, dating from the 10th century. More than 286 skeletons belonging to 10-year-old children have been unearthed so far in the underground cemetery. All of the bones were buried in pairs, and experts suspect that these were twins buried together. Okay. This is out of order, but... Vending machine is out of order. Oh. But yeah, look at the lighting in this house. Or I guess this hospital. Pharmacy service window. I can't see anything on the other side. There's some creaking. Don't like this. Don't like this at all. Left side of a plastic heart. Nothing useful. This, however, detailed mannequin of the human torso. Seven inch tape that can be used to record information. So this is how we save in this game. An old magnetophone. It looks like it works. Recording my progress might be useful if anything happens to me. My name is Caroline Walker. I came to Wild Burger Mansion seeking information about two girls in a photograph I received in the mail a couple of weeks ago. The last thing I remember before losing consciousness was arriving at the hospital and entering the mansion's main hall. I remember the pain and then nothing. I woke up some time later connected to a ventilation machine, and my eye had been removed. Why? Why would someone do such a thing? I don't know what the hell is going on in this place, but I need answers. Every time I close my eyes, I see those girls. Am I going insane? Progress saved. Perfect. Alright, we don't need those. A vial of morphine treats minor injuries. That's useful. It's covered in blood. God, it reeks. I don't dare lift the sheet. Good idea. I don't really like this little doll guy. Alright, we are in that. I don't think any of these are gonna work. Doesn't fit, yeah. We need to find something else. I should have just kept that wrench with me. Opens electronically. So, what I'd really like is if you can find a map in this game. Um, and I suspect you will. So that we can kind of. see where we've gone and make our way around easier. Oh, this is getting creepy. 
Maria Wildberger's Diary. 6th of June, 1963. I was terrified of what William would do when he finally saw my naked skin, but my fears were unfounded. He accepted me, even with the scars on my back left, by my father's whip. William asked me why he did it, of course. I explained that the pain was to redeem my sins. William will never look at my father in the same way again. <laughs> the handle won't budge. There are symbols above the keel. Give me a map. Yes! I was just saying that. Give me the map. There's gotta be a way to use it. Um, so we're by the maternity ward. Let's go downstairs. Because where else are you gonna go in a spooky, spooky hospital? Dr. William Wildberger. Since the patient's health is extremely delicate and the transfer could worsen their condition, I would advise against transferring them to the new hospital. The patient has cardiac insufficiency and requires an immediate transplant. The patient passed away at 11.34 p.m. due to cardiac arrest. At the time of their death, they were holding on to a metal object. With the rapid onset of rigor mortis, I have been unable to remove it from their hand. A combination key is missing a dial. Okay. So we continue. Okay, we're all right. Just some kind of spooky wheelchair. Um, thing going on here. about the two girls in this photograph. 
Thank you, Father. Take care. Take care? What are you doing with this body, though? What I want to know.
on it on 10. There we go. That should do it. Now let's try and start it. Thanks for joining me, and don't forget to like and subscribe.